Before this video begins, I'd like to give a special thanks to the people listed on screen for supporting me on Patreon. So, it is time for a second rally, guys. The Swedish rally. Oh god, here we go. This one's... oh boy. <clears throat> it's Sweden. So, the only all-snow event, the Swedish rally, takes place in Hagfors. It's said that only the Scandinavians can win here, but the faster sections open the rally up to anyone. Do they now? And the fanatical crowd is enough to spur anyone on to victory. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. 100% snow and ice. Hmm, gee, I wonder. Hmm, ha, huh, hmm, hmm, ha, huh, hmm. And then we get another paragraph about the history of the rally. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. And finally, the postcard video. For the Uddeholm Swedish rally, the cars used studded tires to handle the snow and ice covering the gravel roads. The stages are very quick, with long sweeping bends, fast straights and high speed jumps keeping the cars moving. But there are also heavy snowbanks and plenty of fir trees to bring drivers to a sudden halt if they make a mistake. Yeah, so let's not make a mistake. Instead, let's make a lot of mistakes because it's Sweden and I suck at Sweden. I mean, it's difficult. I'm not that bad at Sweden. I'm just, you know, it's difficult because snow and ice and... Yeah, beginning of the season is always tough for me because the whole snow and ice thing, I'm not good at it. So it's to our uh, shakedown area. I'm not going to do a shakedown, I just wanted to do that for one shakedown, but yeah, just, just to uh, show off the cameras and stuff. So let's go to day one of the Swedish rally. Oh boy. Hopefully my microphone sounds less fucking obnoxiously loud now. I did turn it down slightly so OBS wouldn't have a hissy fit. I might need to turn down the game actually a little more now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn the engine sounds down to keep the co-driver loud as fuck. So anyways, here's our first stage, Sagan 1. It is going to be, ooh, our shortest stage yet. Six kilometers. That's like over 2k shorter than the shortest stage at Monte Carlo. Whoa. And apparently our setup is going to be uh, medium across the board for our car here. Alright. I almost put my controller up on my desk and then I realized, oh yeah, audio. Oh god, excuse me. So here we go. Stage 1 at Sweden. Can I get my first rally podium? And or win? Let's find out. But first... Options... Whoops, that's not it. Audio... Uh, sound effects volume... Let's turn that down a couple clicks. And hopefully that'll be good. Oh god, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Uh, I don't even have my other glove on. Alright. Well, lost two seconds at the start there, at least. We're off to a roaring start here at Sweden. Alright, this is where this this uh, LP and shit becomes much more blind. Because I've really only done, like, a couple stages at Monte Carlo. I don't really know anything about the rest of this freaking uh, game. So, uh, this ought to be interesting. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Well, despite that very delayed start, I was somehow the fastest in the first sector. Just barely, though, but got that green split. Probably because I fucking went full Colin McRae there on that straight. This isn't so bad so far. I'm mildly doing okay. Oh, that's tighter than a two. Okay. That was at least a three. Oh god, alright. Apparently the AI sucks around here more than I do. Because, uh, you're that or they're pussyfooting it, whereas I'm not, because I'm a big dumb idiot. Oh, crap. Yeah, I was no way I was stopping the car in time for that. More like Colin McCrash. It's me. Oh, hey. The, uh... The interesting part about Swedish Rally, the Ice Lake, which is a lot grippier than I was expecting. 
which is why I keep climbing up the snowbanks. Seems like the slicker surfaces in this game aren't nearly as slick as they were in Work 2. Extreme. That's right, this game isn't extreme. I forgot about that. WRC 2 was extreme. This one isn't. Because it doesn't have extreme in the t game title. That's why the slippery surfaces are much grippier, clearly. I always like this frozen lake section of Sweden. It's probably one of my favorite things about the Swedish Rally. It's just like, hey, we're driving on a giant lake. You know. Of course, Mother Ma Nature has to play ball here in order for these stages to happen. Wasn't it like the past, like, either last year or something where, like, most of the Swedish Rally was canceled because it wasn't cold enough for ice to, you know, enough ice to be form on these lakes? Or whatever. Two right, two left. Junction right. Three right. Oh shit. Okay, rocks. Yep, that's how you do that. It's fine. It's fine. Two right. We see tone it down on the wrestling weapons. Yeah, WRC is PG era, where WRC two was the uh, TV fourteen era. If you only the finest lines. Hey. I got the stage win, so obviously I did something right. Three, Clearly. Two, one, go. And there's my time to the stage. <laughs> that fucking delayed ass start. Holy shit. Alright, let's just go into the menus. And I'm now using just the buttons on my my uh my, my H pattern shifter to navigate the menus because I don't feel like grabbing my controller every time. I won that stage by 6.64 seconds. How the hell? Jesus Christ, okay. Well then. God. Also over Carlos Science. So, there you go. There's your stage one result. Finally turning in directions other than left. Yes, O2. Yes, I am. Also, hi. So, let's move on to stage Nib T. This one looks like it's going to be longer. It is not. Well, it is, but only by 300 meters. Also, it's snowing, so that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. My final play time for NASCAR, I think it was in the 140, 160 hour, no, not 160, 140 hour range. In terms of the actual, like, videos, there's obviously some time omitted there from, like, um, you know, things that didn't make it into the video, but yeah. <clears throat> total video link time is, uh, or total combined video time is, Three, like, 140 two, hours. One. I want to see exactly how long it was. I have a spreadsheet detailing this kind of stupid and inf pointless information uh, in the description of this video and also my Twitch channel. In the links section on, on my Twitch. Uh, the, 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 the info section on below the stream. You know what I'm saying. Anyways. So you know how the first stage wasn't really that slippery? Uh, yeah, about that. We slipping now. We slipping and sliding. Flipping and dipping. Spiritual lyrical miracle and oh shit. Okay, we're good. Holy f seven seconds over Martin in that first sector. Yeah, I think they're uh, either the AI are just really good at Monaco, or they're really pussyfooting it around here compared to me. And my, you know, send it at all times, ass. Three right. <clears throat> Three right. Yeah, revenge from Monte Carlo. Three right. into dip. Forgot how long Forza 4 was. Three yeah. Right. Five left. I mean, hopefully I never have an LP that surpasses the number of videos that Five Forza right. 4 had. Hopefully. Four left. Because, uh, my god. I've had two now 300 part LPs. I think that's two too many. <laughs> One right. I'm not like the Northern Lion or whatever the hell his name was who has like a freaking 10,000 part Binding of Isaac series. Oh my god. 
the game could you even make that many videos for? Um, I don't know. The only one that really springs to mind is maybe like Race Driver 3 because of how many championships are in that game and how many championships in that game have long races, but I don't think it'd reach like 300. 200 definitely, but I don't know about 300. Anyways, I am absolutely dominating this stage. I mean, yeah, iRacing doesn't really count, because that's not like a, you know, that's not like a game that, you know, I play through that actually has an end, that's a completely different experience. I mean, I'm already almost, I think I'm already reaching like close to 100 iRacing videos on my channel. Which, considering I started in December and didn't start actually making like, video videos for it until, like, uh, middle of January. That's pretty insane. Oh, shit. There's the end of the stage. And how much did I... 18 and a half seconds? 18 and a half seconds. I think they're pussyfooting it. Full 100% of Skyrim, oh god. Couldn't imagine 100%ing a freaking Bethesda game. Like Skyrim. A Bethesda RPG. So anyways, um... Yeah, about that stage time. Christ almighty. And hey look, I'm still... I'm already almost half a minute ahead in the rally. Grunholm's up to second, Marco Martin's third, Solberg fell to fourth, Sainz fell to fifth. There we go. Ooh, Didier Orioles in the last point spot. Maybe Sk Skoda can score a point in this uh, in this round, so we can have all seven manufacturers with a point after two rounds. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Anyways, let's move on to day two, another 6.3 kilometer length stage. But it's not the same stage two because it's on the other side of the map. And let's go. Let's go. Grand Bergé. Now we got the uh, the uh, introduction and explaining the game and all of its quirks and features done. These segments should be a lot shorter. And by a lot shorter, I mean like maybe ten minutes shorter than the first one. I love all the random live action videos of racing games of this era. Yeah. Which is pretty great. It's like, we don't really have the technology to, like, you know, animate this in high enough quality yet. Let's just fucking mix. Let's, let's just, um, record real, like, real footage. And that's what they do in this game. They just use real footage for, like, their, uh, uh, like, mm, postcards and the, the rally postcards. They, they just use real footage of the. Oh my god! I can't see the sun is shining so brightly. Everything is white. Oh my god. I actually cannot see where I'm actually like supposed to be. Like the main path. Just feeling my way through. Oh my god, dirt. I've never been happy to see a little bit of dirt. Some brown. Some brown to break up all this white, this bright white because of the sun. Is that a not frozen lake? That's very unsweden. Around the time of this rally. Oh, cancel the rally, we can't go on the lake. Still dominating, by the way. No one dares go as fast as my idiot ass. Dumb. Idiot at dumb. Ooh, wee. Ah, ee, oh. 
Get her tofu. Oh, there's just some construction equipment here. Random Union Jack, alright. That is the name of the British flag, right? Like the pattern, the Union Jack? I hope I'm not stupid. Oh, yep, I'm definitely stupid. Oh god, those are... Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Let's drive straight into the rocks. We're good. We're good. They're at the lead. But I'm only like, what was that, 0.2 or 0 0.02 behind Grunholm? Oh, it's a jack when it's on a ship, but it's a flag on it. Okay, I see. I did not know that. What's that? Me not knowing something? Whoa. So it's just the Union flag. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. And another reverse. Hoist the color! Fucking that. So remember when I was dominating? I have uh, found, that, found out how to stop dominating. Find out how. This guy learned how to stop dominating the Swedish rally. And frankly, everyone hates him. Learn his secret. Where the hell that room went. Stop being careless. One left, oh, fuck. How the fuck can you see the trap on this? I can't. Like, legitimately, I could not see where I was going in just the pure white sections. Robbie Gordon. Robbie Gobby. Gordon Gordon. Well, I'll end up fourth in the stage Three, still. Two, one, go. Not without a lot of struggles, but hey, you know. Kind of well, actually, that gets you punched, though. <laughs> so fourth in the stage, Grunholm takes the stage win, gains like three seconds on me. Oh no. My lead's down to like 23 seconds, whatever will I do. And hey, all 17 drivers are still going. Okay, I'm still at 25 seconds over Grunholm, we're good. Everything's fine. Oh, did, uh, Oriel fell out of the points. God damn it, Didier. Come on, Skoda needs a point. I can't carry them like I did through the extre the uh, Expert Championship in 02. Or no, it was the Pro Championship in uh, the previous game. You can find on YouTube.com slash HG Central. Anyway, it's time for the longest stage so far in this rally. 7.3k. Still shorter than the longest uh, Monte Carlo stage, though. But here we go. People accused Robbie for cheating at Dakar. How so? <sighs> what did he do? Did he call Michael? Was he powered by uh, calling Michael Waltrip a piece of shit? Spin those tires, yeah. Who needs traction? We can go through all the gears and do a burn heckin' burnout on the snow and ice. How long until Samir is a playable driver? You're talking about I am Samir. See? I'm breaking the car. Oh shit. Alright, uh, a good start to this stage. Good thing that armco was there. Oh shit. It's all falling apart. At least I can actually see where I'm going this time because the sun isn't shining so goddamn bright on the snow. Boogity will be replaced by sheep hands. Fucking. 
Michael uh, takes the booth next year and just she bang, she bang, she bang. You can just you then you can just hear the cringe from Joy and uh, Gordon. Oh, remember that sunshine I said that wasn't happening? Never mind. The sun's just uh, changing strategies by shining directly in my face instead of directly on the snow. We're going this way. Ah. Uh, We're good. We're good. We're good. One right. Whee. Two left. Into one right. Two left. Here logs outside. And three left. Hey, guess what? I found the logs outside. Immediately. Oh my god. Blinded by the light. Oh, that's, that's a chicane I can't... Oh, no. Well, there's our first roll. Very long. One the WRC-3 is, in fact, fail race approved. Five right. Into four left. Okay. Well, that was a experience. Oh, that's a rock. That wasn't just a snowbank, that was a freaking rock. Help, oh, I've damaged the motor. Alright. We're smoking now. Because apparently I'm full of music references tonight, smoking in the boys' room. Oh, hi, Voltorb. Here's a dollar, because I want a bit badge. I think for the dollar. O2. Don't hit the rocks. So remember how this rally started off really good? Really, really well? How yeah, about that? Diggly dig, diggly dig, diggly dig. And then Rotard comes in and goes through the whole first gen list again. Like he did last night. Fucking madman. Good thing this is stage four, so uh, We're clear of the stage. car will get repaired after this stage. Only seventh there. Avoid the light. Three. Hey, Persian. One. He's go. poking at me. Yes. Uh, I would definitely pet Evie. He deserves all the pets. He's cute. So, Lobo won that stage. Might dumbass uh, ended up seventh. But, I still. Hey, Satan. Hill Satan. Still have the rally lead by uh, nearly half a minute over Marco Martin. I think my gap actually increased from that stage. Because uh, Grunholm had a really bad stage. Apparently, he fell from second to fifth. So, uh, there's that. Evie and Steve Team Cute Car win. Don't give me ideas, Harry. Alright, so. Brunberg 2. I believe this is a repeat of stage 2. Except reverse. Not sure if every stage setup is like this. If 5 is going to be a reverse of 2 and 6 is going to be a reverse of 1. But that's so far, I think that's what's happening. Oh, Peak is happening. Why well, watch Peak series when you could watch... A uh, 16 year old rally game. <laughs> that guy looks like Ethan Klein. <laughs> like, Three, I hope two, I wasn't the only one to one, notice that. Go. Kerwin is. Because I don't follow Peak. Take a screenshot and it I might have to. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Casey. 
Don't run any, I don't follow Peak, so I don't know any of the drivers. Oh, you jeeba jeeba jee. Yeah, he's been warning about safety hazards, and oh my god, I can't see. Titans. Eh, oh, we didn't need that road sign. So I kind of just demolished it. Oh, good, a jump. Wee! Big jump. Another jump. <laughs> well, that was really awkward, but at least I didn't die. Not dead. It's not smooth, that's uh, way too late on the brakes. <laughs> oh yeah, I can make this. Nope. Sure can't. Sure didn't. Oh, I didn't take the left yet. I thought I was already taking the left. I did not. I actually can't see. Like everything is just fucking bright white. <laughs> like not even just white, it's bright white. Still leading the stage though. In fact, I gained some time in that sector. Finish the right yet. Three left. And two right. Oh my god, shade. I welcome thee. Long five right. Oh my god, dirt. I welcome thee. Three left. Titans into five left. And three left. No force. Close in again. I need the visibility. Okay, there we go. I still won the stage. Some the fuck how. Three, two, one. At least I go. didn't die is the best thing that happens to me every day. I wish I could agree. On like my part. Alright, so here's our stage what was that? Stage five results. Couldn't even remember what stage I was on. Oh, and science dropped out. Rip Carlos. We have our first retirement on the final day. <clears throat> F's for Carlos. Oh hey, my lead's up to over half a minute now. I think I got this. Damn, Oriol's just been on a downward path ever since he got moved, got all the way up to 8th. He's now down to 12th. His teammate's ahead of him now. Anyways, final stage, Sagin 2, and it is in fact a reverse of stage 1. So, so far, it looks like I was right. Stage 5 is going to be reverse of stage 2, and stage one, 6 is going to be reverse of stage 1. Bam, bam, bam. Any night stages? I don't actually know, Harry. I'm sure there will be. <clears throat> Just, uh, you know. Not yet. No. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, it's snowing, by the way. One, go, two left. Oh, here we go. Two left, fine right. Long, three left. At least I can actually see where I'm going now, thanks to the uh, cloud cover. Four right, and three left. <coughs> oh, well, 
That doesn't mean I know where I'm going, but I can at least see where I'm going. <coughs> oh, hey. I'm sorry, this is the stage that has the lake. Four right. We. Lake. It's fun. <coughs> One Excuse me. Man, that last drink of tea really Two fucked left. my throat up. Stupid idiot throat. Okay, I did not need third gear there. Thought I did, but I didn't. I like how narrow that uh that, that checkpoint gate was. Compared to all of this. <coughs> Damn, excuse me. Holy shit. And no more lake. Oh, immediate. Okay, not immediate, but junction. Junction, junction, what's your function? Remember that song as a kid? I vaguely do. I just remember that. Stupid, catchy children music. Right. Educational Two, music. Right. <clears throat> right. It looks like I'm gonna put a, uh... Unless something horrible happens Three in these right. last two sectors, looks like I'm gonna put a dominant... Uh... Two right. One left. Two right. Yeah. You know. Long dominant three finish three to this rally. I completely lost my train of thought. Like, the train not only left, left the station, but it also entered the frickin' void in an entirely different dimension. That's how lost it was. I'd say Rovenpera was uh, second in the stage. I think it did. Oh, only room recall of any other rally drivers with the HR uh, initials. Very long three right titans. Can I drive as Rove and Para in a WRC2? Oh, whoops. Slowing down way too soon. Oh, hi, Junior. What did you do to your car? Or, excuse me, what happened to your car? No wheel, stop that. Also, hey, Lewis. Snow Cowboys. Alright, well, that's a uh, hell of a stamp to put on the end of the Swedish Rally by winning the final stage by over 15 seconds. I think that was, what, 18 seconds? Wasn't it Ericsson? I don't remember. So on quick, go through the playlist. Uh, nearly 20 seconds over Rovenpara. <clears throat> 18 naked cowboys shivering in the snow. <laughs> Sounds hot. And Carlos Sainz was the only retirement. So here's the final results of the Swedish Rally. I take the win by 56 seconds, quick maths. 56 seconds over Solberg. Rovenpera third, Grunholm fourth, Loeb fifth, Marco Martin sixth, Tommy Mackinnon seventh, and Alistair McCray gets the final point for Mitsubishi, as our boy Nicky Grist would say. <clears throat> and there you go. So let's just go ahead and save, and save to file 2, just in case something goes wrong and I have to re-record something. Oh hey, that's right, podium ceremony. Let's go. Ah! That's a micro- that, that, that's a microphone smash. Smashed it. Smashed it. Here's our first podium ceremony of the LP. Yeah, woo. At least we can actually see the video, unlike uh, Digger C2 would had was behind that fucking really thick filter. <clears throat> Look at this holding hands, isn't that beautiful? And that's it. Damn, I was hoping for champagne, but no. And with that, I take the uh, point lead as well, with that win. 
one point over Petter Solberg and Marco Martin, who are now tied for second. Sebastian Loeb falls down the fourth. And then we have three Citroens, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Alistair McRae, Francois Duval is in tenth and the final person to have scored a point so far in these two rounds. So, um, so, so far we've had ten point scores out of an eight, potential eight per round in two rounds. Cool. And Skoda is locked out with the big zero. But I got Hyundai ten points and moved him up to third in the manufacturer standing, so that's cool. Only five behind Subaru and uh, one behind Ford. So, hooray for that. And with that, Swedish Rally is complete. Second round, done. <laughs>